Hello once again everybody, Phantom Darkness 135 back, and you might be a bit confused, we did a two for today. This is our second walkthrough, Killer Escape by Psionic Games, which I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe it's the same people who did the Being One series that we always enjoyed. And um, what happened with the video from yesterday, the, um, not Arcade Escape, but the Timescape, is I recorded it after a long, long night. And I couldn't up or edit it last night, so I edited it this morning, put it up. And so you get two walkthroughs today, how about that? But hopefully I won't screw up this one as bad. And now that I've talked long enough, let's get started. Turn the sound on. Turn it up a little bit. Get started. Nah. Okay. I'm just here to check if you're still alive. Yep. I won't bother shackling you if you're in no fit state to go anywhere. Okay. Oh, look at that pose. Fine then. Screw that noise, we're getting out of here. Alright, so, first thing we're going to do is look at, uh, actually, if you wanted to make this walk there really fast, you can just, no, I'm just kidding, uh, click on the inventory to get that little pop-up ad out of there, and then look at the pictures, and take note of the X's. I don't actually think you use the numbers, maybe you do. 759, we'll see, we'll see later on, I guess. You're going to move that board, and up here, it's you can barely see a screwdriver. Always a screwdriver. Always comes in handy. And over here we're going to move this brick, collect the note, uh, look at the dead rat and poke it a lot of times. Get the key out of there, poke it some more. And um, I'm going to go ahead and look through all the spider webs because um, as you can see some of them have fuses and big big note, the location of some items changes for every player like not every item obviously but sometimes this key is in here or elsewhere ooh an eyeball in my doggy lumps mmm my lovely doggy lumps anyway uh, some like the key and the fuses are sometimes in different um, locations for each player so we're gonna check all the spider webs take note of this right here this zero as it were and then we're going to use a screwdriver over here to work this brick loose, take that tape, and then use it up here to get this pipe loose. And with the tape, you're going to use it on the, these switches. There's going to be more than this one. And now we can finally get down to this vent. And this isn't the escape. That'd be too easy. But it does get us to this place. So we're going to move a brick, collect another note, get the spider web down here, uh, tape up this switch, tape up, tape up. There we go. And oh gosh, we got to go back to the cell. I forgot a big thing. We got to do the pressure valves. So what you do is you basically keep your mouse within the circle and just spin it around until it does that. And we go back through. And we pick up the fuel can and do this one. Cool. Um, break the spider web, get the fuse. I think that's everything over here. To the left, I'm not going to do this because it takes a long time. But basically, it's a riddle that says, like, the first one is half of a dozen. The second one is how many is between you and me. And the last one isn't even a number. It's a, something on the wall or something like that. I'll just give you the code though later on. Spiderweb. Um, this will come in handy later. This I'm pretty sure is the same for every game. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up. Here we gotta look at where these lines go and hit the corresponding wheel. So that one's on the green line, it goes to the green wheel. Uh, that's that one. And 
after a while it'll overload and we'll be good there excuse me this one corresponds to those X's we saw at the picture at the beginning so we're gonna go to this one diagonal and then the bottom left corner there in here let's see we'll do this first this just corresponds to the diagram we just saw so up down up down down up up down is that one on the diagram anyway doesn't matter it's deactivated and there's a failsafe switch over here that we need to tape up cool in the boxes oh by the way all these notes uh, I'll look at them in a second like after we collect all of them because I really didn't read them they're just kind of like torture notes spark notes for torturing I don't know spiderweb spiderweb note pressure valve uh, ah safe behind the picture which looks like this wasn't that in ghostscape pretty sure it was so this safe actually moves by itself and you gotta stop it on the numbers we got from that riddle which were six two and zero and I'll explain that after I can concentrate on this so the six being the half dozen the two being between you and me and then the zero was the thing we saw on the wall at the beginning of the game so we get another note and a key wheel we'll do the lockers first this is the locker key behind door number one hi body and like the good moral people we are, we're going to raid that body for our own benefit. A fuse. And I think that's our second to last one. Hmm. I know where the last one is, I'm pretty sure. Need to tape this down. We'll leave the body there, she'll be fine, she's not going anywhere. And down here, no, we already got that one. Which one am I missing? There's a spider web around here we haven't gotten... Anyway, while I'm thinking about that, we'll go ahead and, oh, right here, bingo, never mind, we'll go ahead and read the notes. I think we got all of them, maybe not. Uh, I'm hoping you can just read these, basically, I hope he doesn't find these notes, we've been preparing to escape, if we can overload it, we can might be able to escape, blah blah blah. Smell of burning flesh, watch as it burn a woman's eyes out. Oh, that must have been her. Something about his long lost love. He wants to make us look like his wife. She died during a car accident. He also mentions a little girl. She's not normal, she's inhuman. I must escape. He is a psychopath. He responds to screams of pains. Blowing up the boiler, blah blah blah. Tortures us every day. I'm sorry if I seem bored reading the torture notes as we're trying to escape the psychotic killer. I just, I've played the game before, alright? Finals release from hell. He gave a short chuckle, dragged the body off somewhere. I'll kill him in the process. I'll get out of here. Basically, it, we're going to do exactly what they say, except they weren't able to do it. Alright, so I think we're ready to get everything going. Gotta put the fuses in. Red. Blue goes there, yellow goes at the bottom, green at second, and then we need to put the fuel in, we need to put the wheel on, we need to put the pipe over here, and I think we should be able to blow this baby until everything is done. Okay, what does that mean? Do we miss something? Let me look at the boiler real fast. Everything looks good. What am I what am I missing here? Oh. Huh? Huh? Fuel tank done. Oh, we got another note. Where does that come from? Apparently I'm missing some notes. Cause there's a couple spaces left. I'll leave that up to you guys to find so you don't just watch this and uh you know what, I bet I missed a relay somewhere. Or pressure valve. Web. Which one did I miss? Oh, here we go. This one right here. Right down there. Alright, now we're ready. Let's blow this. What the hell? Bad timing.
Okay, I'm pretty sure there'd be a lot less of him left after that. And you know, we weren't too far off, too. Awesome. We killed the burner. And we're truly a born survivor. Why, thank you. So we get 40,000 points. Not bad. There's probably some more notes for you to find. I'll leave that up to you guys. Yeah, so I'm going to turn that off. Apparently there's a sequel or something. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed Killer Escape. Thank you for joining me for that adventure. Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else, so I'm going to let you guys get back to all the important things you're doing. Thank you for watching. As always, I'm Phantom Darkness 135 and I'm leaving. Bye.